Okay, guys, so please tell me that you are still working in chat GPT. This is my new best friend, my colleague, my person that I bounce things off of, and I am creating so much and saving so much time. The first thing that I want to talk about is are you letting chat GPT write your emails? Please say you are. They are so much better than anything that I have written. Um, and my customers and I hope my team are appreciating how much more variety and um, how much more enthusiasm um, they're they're getting, they get me pumped. Um, my old emails to my customers and to my team. Sorry, guys. Yeah, they were all cut and paste. Same format, same thing every time. Boring. So I tried, I tried, but I'm not, I'm not AI. So now I have my new assistant and I wanted to show you a few things I've been working on. And the first thing I want to show you is how to do, um, how to work an email with, um, with chat GPT. So I went ahead and I, I was starting to type it in. I thought, no, I need to start sharing. Sharing is caring. And I know we're all Avon and, um, yeah, I just want to let everybody know what I'm doing. Um, so hopefully it helps you too. Um, all of my team, um, Someday you might be leaders. Some of you are already leaders. This works for team emails. This works for customer emails. I send a biweekly email to my customers because um, all of them don't have cell phones to text. So um, just don't you know, think outside the box. It can do so much. So I've started with um, how I usually do. And it just basically says, write an email to Team Amazing in a fun and casual tone, getting them excited for this week. This is my Monday opening email and um, let's get pumped, right? So um, it needs to include these meetings and the live shopping information. So what I do is I give that to GPT. I go over into my teammates. The ones that have joined our Facebook group already have this information. But this is for the people that don't, kind of like the people that don't have texting, you know, they get the email. Well, this is for my team that isn't on our group. So basically I just take what I typed when I was giving them, you know, the rundown for um, the training this week. And then I just right click and copy. So I've already typed it once. I don't need to type it again. I jump back over here. I come down and I just right click and paste. So I've told um, I've told Chat GPT all the information. And the fun thing is, I, I'll, I'll let you guys see it. I'll let you see the magic because it does so much. So. Then I will just space, do not return. That's the key. Because if you hit return, it will hit send. And GPT thinks you're done. We're not done, right? So I'll just put also, I didn't want to have to type too much because y'all, I'm so terrible at it. Um, add also we're still celebrating a hundred and thirty seven years of Avon with special with what is it a Special offer of 
up to 75% off amazing products. Check special offers. That way, everybody knows where to look for it. Um, what else do we need to get excited about this week? Um, so we've got our meetings. We're still celebrating. Um, uh, still celebrating Avon. Um, what else do we need to do? Um, we're, well, we're not quite halfway through. Um, so this is just kind of getting excited about the week to come. Um, type offers. Let me just check over here. Um, I did everything from there on. This is just first thing this morning. Um, oh, also. Be sure. To check the buzz that came out today. And keep working towards the new incentive pick your product. Now, the one thing that's great about this, check your product, check your, or pick your product. See you, so I'm closing off with see you Wednesday morning. This, this will be the next time they see me. See you Wednesday morning for mid campaign. Huddle. Okay, so that's the next time you guys will see me. So I'm gonna go ahead. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let it go because we'll see what chat GPT has for me. And if I forgot anything or I have to tweak anything, I can always go back. So we've got my subject. Woo I hate coming up with catchy subject lines. Get ready for an exciting week with Team Amazing. So they've got me here. Hey, Team Amazing. I hope this email finds you in high spirits. It's a brand new week. And boy, do we have some exciting things lined up for you. Get ready to kick off the week with a bang and make the most of our fantastic events and special offers. So there is our, um, our trainings that I asked them to include. And I will tell you, if you have Gmail, I don't know about the others because I have Gmail. If you have Gmail, when I copy and paste this over, this live shopping link will be done. It will be activated for me. 
So super, super cool, right? So I don't have to go back and link that one. Um, and the Zoom link, it will also be linked to what I had put in there. So it shortened it for me and just put Zoom link and made it a clickable two word for me. Perfect, right? How awesome. So um, let's see if I need to fix anything. Don't miss this fun event where we'll explore the latest makeup trend. Uh, latte makeup, grab your favorite latte and let's join online for some makeup magic. It's going to be a blast. So that's going right here with this with the live. But wait, there's more. We're still celebrating Avon's 137th anniversary and with a special offer up to 75% off some incredible products. Check out the special offer section. Um, I will link that um, when I get over to Gmail so that that's linked. Um, and uh, uh, in our website and snag these amazing deals. Um, so I need to put in there to share with the customers. Um, also, don't forget to check the buzz that just dropped today. There's some exciting news and updates waiting for you. Lastly, keep your eyes on the prize, the new incentive. Pick your product. Let's work together and make sure we all reach our goals. See you on Monday. Uh, see you all on Monday. Um, this has already happened, so I'll have to fix this one. And then again on Wednesday for our mid camp pay huddle. Um, get ready to have an amazing week ahead. Cheers to Team Amazing, Warm Regards, and me. Hey, I can deal with that. I am good. All I had to do was give that. So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to, sometimes it's a little iffy on copy. So you have to watch how far it copies because see, look how far it copied. So sometimes I like to actually come up to the top and go down. That way it's not getting everything in there. And if it does this, just hit the shift key and the down arrow to continue copying. And then you can scroll down some more. Again, shift and the down arrow key. So I get everything highlighted um, that I need. Shift, down arrow, and then I just copy and um, come over here to compose and I just pop it in here, control V. So there is my email. I always go ahead and copy the subject line just because I can grab it right here Highlight it, do a right click, oops, hover over it and do a right click and cut, right click. And it did have it up there and paste. And then I can just delete that backspace and delete and then hit delete. So now I'm here with the recording. So um, as I said, um, it did put my link in here. So if I right click, well, actually, if I hover, I just was impatient. So if I click on it, it shows me that it did put the zoom in there for me. Um, here, if I click, it shows me it took it took it took it to live, the live shopping link that I had in the description. Um, so yeah, so. Um, the only thing I might want to do, because maybe somebody does want to go ahead and join Team Amazing, I'll hop over here and just grab the um, share and then the, um, I don't, I want the link. I'm not seeing it. Why am I not seeing it? Copy. Share now to friends. I don't want to share via code. What did I, what am I missing? 
share. Oh, it was being covered up. Okay, so share. So I copied the link and I'll go back over here and then I will, um, and I will just uh, highlight team group. On Gmail, you just go down here to this little link and you insert, and then you will just right click and paste. So now they um, can go to um, our site and join if they want. So now that's clickable. Um, special offers, we needed to, oh, it's, yeah, it did special offers, so we're good. Um, so yeah, it, it's amazing what it picks up, guys. It's just amazing. But you can go ahead and just, you know, if you want to look at it. Um, so I, you know, I don't know if that's the exact one for Avon special offers. So I'll just hop over here to special offers for Avon. And of course, I, I've been too far, but logged me out, but that's okay. I don't need to log in because I just want it to be a basic one. Um, so see, it does say features. So I would want to go up here in this above, copy that, right click, and copy, go back over to this, and just backspace or highlight it, whichever you want, and then right click and paste. So now that is going to just generic special offers. They can go to their um, one on their page. Um, I don't need to send them to my page because this is a team and they want to be going to their own section. So I don't want to send them to mine. So with all of that, um, and I normally, it's just me guys, I just usually take this off, backspace, I'm just going to leave it. Cheers to Team Amazing. And I am going to sign up. And then I would go back and add my people. I'll go add that later. I want to jump back over to GPT. To show you a few other things that I've been working on. Here is where I did um, the um, team. That Okay, here's the other thing you can do. Um, this is where I did the last team email. I now have Spanish speaking um, team members. So I can go in, let's see, I messed up there. You can end up doing too much. I'm just gonna go up here to where I went to um, what I wanted. So up here, they um, the very first is, um, where I wrote what I need. Again, I started it. I need an email to Team Amazing. I first congratulate the top 10 in sales um, and then thank all who placed orders because it takes every dollar to reach a team goal. C19 is live on our e-stores. This is the information that I get off of working our Avon priorities, um, kind of new products going on you know, telling them what they need to do when they start last Wednesday, when we start a new campaign. I actually make these on Friday because we have our team meetings on Thursday night. Um, so um, again, I just put in there what I wanted. Um, and then it gave me this. I wasn't really happy with it. It was kind of stiff, best regards, you know, thank you for your dedication. Okay, that's not me. So then, because I forgot to write in there, I said, that's good, but can you rewrite this in a casual and fun tone? See, if I write that in the beginning, I don't have to go back and remind it. Um, you, I've heard you also can put down some uh, specifications on how you like yours worded, but because I, I changed mine up, um, I haven't done that. Um, and then I just put in there, you know, put it in a fun and casual tone. Also need to add um, link to replays of the team meetings um, and a link to the AE's meeting in a meeting in a box, uh, their money, money, money making activity, 
and that we covered the second key in the um, video sequence that we we're using. Um, also welcome the new team members. Um, and then I just left it because I would add those names later. You know, it didn't need to have that. So when I did that, it rewrote it and it was, it was, it was much better. It was um, definitely, um, you know, something that I could work with. You still occasionally have to read it, always read it just to make sure that it captured what it wanted you to do, you know, what you wanted it to say, because, you know, you're always teaching it what we did. Like last time it signed off, um, keep rocking, keep shining, and let's conquer C19 together. I would have never came up with that on my own. The entire email um, was great because it's unique. It's always something um, different. AI is so good about flipping it up and putting just, you know, getting, um, getting it so we're not just copying, pasting, and and giving the same boring thing. A um, couple of the other things. So that was another email. I'm doing it for all of my emails. Um, I did, I did, I was doing, I do it for my captions um, uh, for when I'm putting out jewelry. Um, so I was, um, putting out the uh, the earrings we have from Avon with the ghosts and witch and spiders. Um, and it gave me, um, you know, a fun way of putting it. So I do use it for my captions. Um, that was another email. Um, yeah, that was another email. And, um, what I also, let me see, I've done, I've done a lot of emails just because it's so much easier. It saves me so much time. Um, and if I want to um, make it smaller or shorter, um, if I need anything like that, I just play with it. The other one thing that I did do, and um, I've been playing with, them is or with them i mean with ai my new my new help i want to try to wrap this up somewhat shortly but i haven't shown anybody this but ai has been helping me write a week long facebook party and literally i gave it instructions um um, let's just go all the way back up to the top. I've reworked it and I've been going back and forth with it. Um, just because I'm trying to get it locked down. Um, but basically I said, um, where was it? I want to have a Facebook party that will run seven days with four posts a day topics include. And then I just gave it a little bit about Avon. Um, makeup, colors differ in the colder months, skin care, um, needs change in the colder months, fragrance, changes in fragrance wardrobe with the colder months, trying to give AI an idea of the topics that I wanted to do. Um, and then I said, uh, I want post to be in a fun and exciting, want to be fun and exciting, getting attendees ready for the fall and thinking of holiday gift giving games that attendees that get attendees engaging and fun facts. Can you write these? And it literally wrote me a seven day plan. Now I had to rework it because I forgot to tell it that I work a party from Friday to Friday. I all that's per, my own personal choice because I hit two Fridays. Most of the time people get paid on Friday. I hit two in a party. That way they're either getting paid when the party starts or they're getting paid when the party ends. Um, so it gave me one, which was great. Um, and it, but it needed some tweaks. And that's where I said, you know, it's a great start 
Um, and then I got to thinking, no, I really make this a nine day event because it starts on Thursday. I start posting on Friday and um, the first day, the first day, uh, Thursday is a reminder that the party's going to start tomorrow. And um, it was giving prizes with every game, which would have broke the bank. So I reminded it, I told it that how I work is I give party points towards a door prize at the end of the party. So one prize instead of one every day. And um, the first Friday needs to um, point out, you know, welcoming everybody with uh, to the host party. Um, and then the last Friday is about closing out and thanking everybody from coming. Also, um, the last Friday needs to remind them to join my Facebook VIP and keep in touch after the party. So it did a much better thing, much better job this time because like on, you know, on that last one, uh, it's all, almost over Thursday. So it got the idea of how I flow the party. Thanks for the additions. Just a little more, please. Can you write, rewrite? Oh, it only gave me just a little section I asked. So it rewrote the whole thing over for me, putting it in order. Um, and then at the end, it and I were kind of, I was getting tired. Um, but I, because uh, we, we went back and forth a few times, um, just changing things up. But then it started, you know, it gave me games. So I was like, Okay, so it told me to play um, a hair care and beauty uh, quiz. And I'm like, um, you know, well, can you give me a quiz? Because I'm not thinking of anything. And it's, you know, it said certainly I can. So it started giving me um, questions that I could put into the quiz. Um, so that was fantastic. Um, some of them I liked, some of them were a little too easy. Um, and that's kind of where we ended. We, we meaning I, I don't think it ever gets tired, but I got tired and it's still a work in progress. So I just wanted to show everybody that it is, um, so versatile and so helpful and just writing my emails for me is huge. Um, I, I do my customer emails and I do my team emails on here. Um, so it is um, a really, really big thing. Um, we did a Avon bingo, guys, remember that? Well, yeah, Avon wrote um, that for me. Oh, and that's where I was going with um, the, uh, with the uh, Spanish having, Spanish speaking um, representatives on my team. Um, so once I get what it like, what I like what it gives me, then I'll say, okay, can you transfer that or this into Spanish? And um, it will give me the Spanish version. So I can send out an email to my English speaking reps and a, t and a text or email to uh, my Spanish speaking reps. So that right there is huge, huge guys. So I'll go back in with my email for starting the week um, and get in there with uh, um, getting it translated over to Spanish. So I can send out two separate ones. Um, although I feel, you know, I, there's not enough Spanish content at the minute, at the moment. I, that's just my feelings. Um, because when I try to go to the new YouTube and, um, or um, I did not know that when you did Avon U, it did not trans, it does not flip like our website does to Spanish. Um, I'm having trouble with that. So if anybody out there um, does happen to catch my video and you're figuring it out, I do have a bilingual um, team leader. And she's helping me, but there's only so much we can do. So um, if you have found a tip or trick or you found something we haven't, please share back. So with that, I'm going to let everybody go. Um, 
I put this out on YouTube. So this was for my team and anybody else that happens to um, see it. So I hope that you are broadening your horizons and really letting your AI assistant take some of it off your shoulders. With that, I'm going to say goodbye. And hey, let me know if you have any questions. I do not mind sharing. And I love working with everyone across Avon to uh, make this work for us. So talk to y'all later.